would rather have my father Snapchat me a picture of his junk than ever talk about that game again. And why does Tony Romo hate America? I'm Nick Stevens. You enjoy hot girls saying roll tide? Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Everybody, professional sports fan Nick Stevens here from Maxim, coming to you from the MLB Fan Cave. And today, I have been charged with the unenviable task of having to hang out and play video games with Jose Batista and David Ortiz. Tell me when I get to Pedroia. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tommy and Bill going to get their fourth. This is more important than all the hot dogs and nachos in the world. We're still the Bengals, but go ahead and call us by what you know us as, the Bungles. It's like a car wash for grown-ups. Ribeye, Chuckeye, whatever, as long as they're not Buckeyes, right? Yeah. Work in the crowd, that's what this is, all right, yeah. And when the blue went Are we sure this is the city where Soul and Motown were born? Army Navy Classic. Also, Air Force. They're kind of like the Uber of the armed services. <laughs> Guys, this is 15 yards. Not enough girls at the tailgate. That's a Detroit fail down. Are you kidding? This is like a rolling bachelor party. They've got a keg, got a hammock, sleeping bags, AC, room for the kids back there, garbage, what? A little powder in case it gets uh, a it 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 It's Charlie Day from your favorite show, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We're gonna work on a new show called It's Always Awesome at the Grove, huh? That's a good idea, that's a good pitch. There's only one thing I wanna know. Yeah! Who are you on the phone with? Your mom! I knew it! Halfway is not in our vocabulary. No. So it's all or nothing. 100%. Now I finally feel like I'm at Harvard Yale. And now we see the locals partake in a Cleveland tradition, keg bowling. Thank you very much, Denver. All right, Pittsburgh, nice job today. Thanks a lot, New England. Thanks a lot, Houston. Jolly good job, London. The number one trending topic of 2013, Richard Sherman's rant. The rabid sports entertainment fan in me loved every part of Richard Sherman's meltdown. The responsible parent in me was like, now that wasn't very nice, Mr. Sherman. We needed the guys that were calling the fights in the Rocky movies to do the play-by-play, -play, cause it was epic. Peyton Manning walked into Gillette Stadium that Monday night, robbed the house, took the good jewels. Lots of the end zone. Rage, get it away, oh, And even kidnapped the dog while drinking the scotch. Reggie Bush being available in the third, maybe even possibly the fourth round, is reaching into a bathtub full of ice and Bud Lights and finding a Heineken at the bottom. Oh yeah, and let me t let me add also. And I don't even like Heineken. But oh, it's just a nobody better does. Welcome to Foul Balls, fans. I'm Nick Stevens. Aaron Hernandez is off this week. I like my America and my Hollywood better when I've got Russians as villains. I would like to now welcome to our offensive line, Super Bowl 48 week comedy panel, Maurice Jones Drew and Robert Wolf. The highlight, the seminal highlight of the New York Jets last 25 years was Mark Sanchez running into another man's ass. I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Rodman, it is so nice of you to take some time to join us in the midst of your Armageddon and excommunication tour. <laughs> If I was an Eskimo in an igloo with a dying fire, one of your books in a log, I would read the fucking log and burn your book. <laughs> If you don't think you know your U.S. Open tennis players that well, we've got a terrific way for you to learn them. In our little quiz today, we're calling, Is It a Ranked ATP Tennis Player or a James Bond Movie Villain? This is the make it or break it moment of your U.S. Open experience. Francisco Scaramanga. Tennis player. Oh. He is, in fact, the man with the golden gun, not the man with the golden racket. Serena Williams, the world's number one ranked female tennis player. How do you control the strength with those tiny rackets and the little ball? Um, it, you have to have finesse. The name's Bueller. Ferris Bueller. They think he's a righteous dude. Grace! Bueller. Rooney! Well, with your bad knee, Ed, you shouldn't throw anybody. Yes! 
and thanks for watching everybody. Here's hoping you guys are jacked up like we are and ready to go for playoffs. Because when dad starts a rockin', the playoffs come a knockin'. Yeah! yeah.